In this example, we're going to use the greenest power possible and call it Al Gore's gas and electric. In the example, there's a cost for electricity and gas. Gas is simple, while electricity has several factors that we'll discuss when we input them into trace. Many rate structures have certain things that we simply cannot enter in trace, such as carbon credits. In this case, we can't model the carbon credits in trace, and they would have to be calculated by hand. In order to input a rate structure, we need to launch the Trace 700 Library Template Editor. This can be done by clicking the red button at the top of the Trace 700 screen. For those of you with Superman-like vision, you'll notice that this button is a hand writing in a book and therefore can be linked to the Trace 700 Library. Another way to open the library is to select the library's menu and go straight to, in our case, Rate Structures. Once in the Rate Structure library, we'll notice that the existing Rate Structures are available under the description. A good idea for new users is to find a similar structure, such as Northern Power Company, copy that structure, give it a new name, and then make your changes. Since we're doing an example, and the purpose is to learn how to do this from scratch, we're going to start with a new structure. In this case, we're going to call it Al Gore Gas and Electric. While we have given this a description, right now there are no rates defined, so we need to click the New Definition button. Every time you click the New Definition button, the first utility it's going to bring in is the electric demand. However, we want to start, in this case, with the electric consumption. As you can see, there's a field for minimum charge, a start period, an end period, a rate type, a minimum demand percent, which does not apply to consumption, a fuel adjustment cost, and a customer charge. These fields are all necessary as rate structure.